Today I'm talking about the Polaroid Mini Portrait 203. This camera has all the bells and whistles you could want in a Polaroid camera, so I'm just going to go ahead and dive right into this. Alright, pretty straightforward to turn it on. Just go from off to on or from zero to one. The cool thing about this is it does have a power source that's powered by four AA batteries, which is really cool because you can just take this camera out and about. It was intended for a studio setting, but my favorite thing is just going out and about and shooting this camera. This little gold piece here is the sonar. It pretty much makes sure that your photo is intact and in focus every single time. There are two measuring distances, 1.2 meters and 1.92 meters, pretty much in freedom units, that's three feet and six feet. How the sonar works, basically in the viewfinder, you have two LEDs. It'll show you the distance. If it's on the leftmost LED, that means the distance is too close. If it's on the rightmost LED, it shows that the distance is too far. As you can see here, you're on the right, so you're a little bit too far. What you're shooting for is pretty much both LEDs on at the exact same time. It does take some fiddling around and getting comfortable with the distances, but once you get it down, you pretty much have it down for a long while. Another thing I like about this camera is you have the option to either shoot with one lens at a time or both lenses at the exact same time. This gives you a ton of creative control and fun things you can do. Here you can see a picture that was taken on FP100C with both lenses at the exact same time. And here's an image with lenses at separate times. But you're not just confined to using portrait mode. You can use landscape as well. You can alter between portrait and landscape as you can see here. And it does open up a ton of creative freedom again. And obviously because you control the shutter and when you release the film, you can do fun things like double exposures. So pretty much do as much exposures as you like. I usually like doing it with flowers and people. You do have creative control as well on the aperture. You have anywhere from f8 to f32, as you can see there. And then you do control the shutter speed as well. It does give you the two options between 1 125th, 1 125th of a second or 1 60th of a second. And then here's the things that I don't use. SR, I believe is shutter release, the six volt to plug into a wall, and then the X-Sync for an external flash. Next, I'm gonna be showing you the flash. So when you go ahead and turn it on, you activate the flash by pulling up on it. That turns it on. You can see the green LED confirms that it's on. You do have control of moving the flash, so you can do it from bouncing it up top onto the subject directly, which I think is really cool and adds more control to the camera. The flash is pretty much straightforward. If you're shooting at 1.2 meters, use F16. If you're shooting at 1.92 meters, go ahead and use F11. I have my camera converted to use the Lomography Bel Air Instax wide back. As you can see here, it has that little notch. It's custom made. So no light goes in, which is pretty cool. One of the things that I actually used to use this camera for is passport pictures. So as you can see here, I do have the original tool that was used to punch out pretty much the pictures. As you see, there you go, you have a perfect passport picture or if you were to just snip off the thing. Ever since Fuji had discontinued their FP100C, um, using this was a little bit harder. So I had, since I'd converted mine to Instax Wideback, as you can see here, the FP100C was just the positive part of the image, but the Instax wide had actually, since it does have the chemicals and does have everything, it's too thick for my cutter. And as you all can also can tell, the chemicals are still inside, so it does lead to staining, which does kind of suck. Overall, I really enjoy this camera. This is pretty much the setup that I have on the regular. You can see that I do have a mount that's from my phone. Um, it does weigh a ton, but it's really good to take out to parties, events, even just taking it out, out and about. People do like enjoy getting their picture taken. Um, I do have the option since it does have a flash to go outdoors, indoors. I do have settings. I also use that not only to capture video, but to also light meter, which is really convenient. So yeah, overall, I really love this camera. 
If you haven't already, go ahead and follow my Instagram, same as the YouTube channel. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm coming out with more content very soon. Keep shooting film. Take care. Peace.